the growth of solid tumors such as bladder, ovarian, prostate, colon, pancreatic, kidney, breast cancer, as well as glioblastoma is largely influenced by the CD95 system. Glioblastoma is the most common and aggressive type of malignant brain tumor. The current standard therapy after initial diagnosis consists of surgical removal of the affected tissue, followed by radiation and chemotherapy. However, glioblastoma cells are highly resistant to radiation and chemotherapy. Moreover, they spread and infiltrate the surrounding healthy brain tissue so quickly that complete surgical removal of the tumor is often impossible. As a result, recurrence is often observed within a few months of the initial treatment. The median survival time after initial diagnosis is only 15 months, illustrating the tremendous need for new effective therapies in this disease. APG-101, a fully human fusion protein which inhibits the CD95 system, represents a new treatment option for glioblastoma as well as other solid tumors. In a healthy organism, the CD95 system has an important role in regulating the immune system. The interaction between the CD95 ligand and the CD95 receptor leads to multimerization of the receptor on the cell surface. An intracellular signaling cascade is induced that triggers the programmed cell death, also known as apoptosis. Through this mechanism, cells are selectively removed from the organism. Tumor cells, on the other hand, are generally apoptosis resistant, meaning that activation of the CD95 signaling pathway does not result in their death. Based on current scientific evidence, there are two different mechanisms of how the CD95 system promotes tumor growth in glioblastoma and other solid tumors. The first mechanism is based on the interaction between the CD95 ligand on tumor endothelial cells and the CD95 receptor on immune cells. Binding of the CD95 ligand to the CD95 receptor leads to death of the apoptosis-sensitive immune cells before they can enter the tumor in order to attack it. This process is called tumor immune escape. Immune cells that have entered the tumor are also eliminated through their interaction with the CD95 ligand on tumor cells. The second mechanism by which the CD95 system promotes the growth of solid tumors is the binding of the CD95 ligand to the CD95 receptor on tumor cells. This interaction directly stimulates the invasive growth of tumor cells. Both tumor immune escape and invasive growth of tumor cells, which are critical for the growth of solid tumors, are inhibited by APG-101. APG-101 is a fully human fusion protein that consists of the extracellular domain of the CD95 receptor and the FC domain of an antibody. APG-101 binds to the CD95 ligand, thus preventing its interaction with the CD95 receptor. In the tumor endothelium and inside the tumor, APG-101 blocks the CD95 ligand on endothelial cells and tumor cells, respectively, thereby preventing the interaction of the CD95 ligand with the CD95 receptor on immune cells. As a result, immune cells remain intact and can enter the tumor in order to attack it. APG-101 also inhibits the CD95 system during the interaction among tumor cells. By blocking the CD95 ligand, APG-101 prevents the CD95 receptor from binding to its ligand. As a result, 
the invasive growth of tumor cells in glioblastoma and other solid tumors is inhibited. The efficacy, safety, and tolerability of APG-101 were demonstrated in a controlled phase two proof-of-concept trial in patients with recurrent glioblastoma. Treatment with APG-101 in combination with radiotherapy has shown clinical superiority in all study endpoints compared to treatment with radiotherapy alone, resulting in an overall survival benefit in glioblastoma patients treated with APG-101. Findings by numerous research groups suggest that thanks to its dual mechanism of action, APG-101 has tremendous potential for the treatment of other solid tumors in which the CD95 system has an important role. Among others, these include bladder, ovarian, prostate, colon, pancreatic, kidney, and breast cancer.